Hey guys, what's up? It's Roost here and welcome to the very first episode of my Football Manager 2016 series called The Finnish Legend. And you might find this a bit different that I've done on my other channel, which is called Roost FPS, which is basically just FPS games and World of Tanks and stuff like that. And that's mainly because I really didn't think that it's valid of making Football Manager videos. But after watching some great, great football manager YouTubers, uh, DurFM and a couple of others, I was convinced that I could do a football manager video series and it could be fun. So that's what I'm trying to do. And the reason you are on this channel on YouTube, it's a new channel which I set up for this purpose because I don't want... Uh, this is so much different than I have done so far so I wanted to start new and have a channel that is solely concentrated on football manager series so hopefully you like this transition and hopefully you keep supporting both of my channels but let's just get into the action straight away and this video is all about me telling you about the setup I'm using and some of the goals and principles I want to use in this save and hopefully I can keep this save going on at least to the date when Football Manager 17 is released, which is something I'm going to look into really, really hard at the time when it comes out. But okay, uh, the series is called The Finnish Legend, and that's because I, I have made a save where I take control of my hometown team, Guopion Palloseura, which is not actually my team in Guopio, but the team I was rooting for, it doesn't exist anymore. And it was the team I was playing for called uh, Koparit, it doesn't exist, so I have to settle with uh, Guopion Palloseura. And my goals in this save is at first to uh, take uh, this team to a level where it is competitive in a Finnish league and hopefully gets to get some strips to Europe maybe and all in all just make the team and the club as stellar as it could be uh, that's my first goal and but this is not a team save I uh, this is about the manager so my goals as a manager is well I said about the team and after that my goal is to be as good as Finnish manager can be and possibly do things that no Finnish manager has done in real life which means that I eventually get up a manager position in some of the major major teams in Europe and hopefully get to compete in European competitions and hopefully win them that's my end game goal in this save and the other goal is to get in charge of Finnish national team and take that team to one of the two major competitions on national sides which are European or World Finals so those might be the main goals of this save but uh, some rules I've made for myself is that I don't accept uh, any offers from other Finnish teams I'll remain with Kuopion Palosera even when I'm in Finland and I don't take offers from foreign sides before I'm uh, comfortable with the state that my team is at. So that might take like a couple of seasons at least at Guapia, but we'll see. I mean, obviously, if we're second and third season and we get a really good offer to manage a good team that that's foreign, we'll need to check out on that. But those are probably the goals and principles I want to keep in this save so let's go have a look about the Finnish Veikkausliiga league and our team and talk talk about a bit about predictions and stuff like that so as i said Kuopion Palosora is my team and it plays in Finland in Veikkausliiga and that's me and uh, obviously i am not too great. I mean, I'm pretty good, but I just made the manager and used the tags that 
suits the team and I have Continental A license at the moment but I did start to study the pro license straight away when I got into the team and the team was you know kind enough to pay for it so that means that some of my abilities are deteriorated over the time when I study the license so we will see how that affects and if you guys don't know about the Finnish league uh, it's pretty shit to be honest uh, the game is not pretty I mean I watch a lot of games and it's it's not pretty but it's the only league we have so this is me and just go look at the Veikkaus Liiga uh, 12 uh, teams and we play around 30 games and there's already a couple of teams have played and the teams that would be in the you know in, in the end game in the top would be uh, Hojiko which is the major major team in Finland it's like the Rosenborg of Norway in Finland it's it's the biggest team in Finland and some of the competition to that would be as Yiko, which we had the first game game against, and let's see what would P. And after that, it's a uh, it's mixed bag. I mean, Robs did really well in real life last season. Um, Marienham started the season pretty good, so it's it's up for grabs after these two Ho Yiko and As Yiko. But we are trying to put a. Uh, some thrust towards that position and the media prediction for us for this season was 10th and some pundits actually said that we probably could relegate also to Ukkosliga but uh, we will see about that and let's go see our team oh this is just one of the tactics I've been trying to you know develop a counter tactics but you, you will see that I will use formations of 4, 2, 3, 1 or 4, 4, 1, 1 or anything like that. That's the formations I've been playing with since, I don't know, I've been, I've been playing football manager since the start. But, and don't mind about this Yaga name, I probably just rename it to Oops later on because Yaga is my other save. I'm playing Yaga Bielistok in Poland. Another really esteemed league. But uh, that's a tactic I, I made up there and used there. This is just something I, I'm i you know trying out. I'm experimenting with this because I saw, saw this. Some other guy making good use of it. And then I try to see if I can just put this in use in my saves. But this is probably the tactic I, I'll be using which resembles a lot to tactic uh, Jurgen Klopp used in Dortmund, when Dortmund did really good back in the day and what probably Klopp is trying to imply to Liverpool this season, we'll see what happens, but this is really really much like that and I, I just love that style of football where what, what Klopp plays or something that Deco Simeone does in Atletico a really high pressing battle football which is high octane and I mean well sometimes athletic games at least against good teams loses the high octane value after first half but I really like that style of football you know passionate and stuff like that and that's something you don't see in Finnish football that much so you, you are solely relying on TV on that but that's the football I like and um, well let's just uh, see our first 11 uh, obviously I got Kauppinen, Ville Kauppinen at goal. I got him from Valkea Kosken Haka this off season and he's my starting goaltender at the moment. And at defense, actually let's see I'm using this. At defense I got Tuom Tuomas Rannankari, 23 year old, he's my first choice here. And what Koops has actually done well is the to uh, center back department is pretty good. We got Papa Cardiello, uh, 
and Azubuige Egwegbe. I really don't know how to pronounce these names. These guys are my starting center backs, and they're gonna be something I'll be relying a lot this season. And also at right, I got Jarko Verte, which I also got, uh, I think, from free transfer this off season because I only had like this youth player. Uh, Sharp Rasan and playing on this side, so I need to get some something there, and he has done pretty well on that department. And these guys have just for some reason switched positions. And at you know defensive midfielder, center midfielder, and uh, oh, my captain is called Patrick Poutiainen. And this tactic, he plays the defensive midfield position, but on, on some of the other setups, and we see. How the season progresses, he will might for move further up to operate around these areas. And I got one of my youngsters, Saku Savolainen, and playing in the middle, central midfield role, or deep lying uh, playmaker or whatever. What what my tactic needs, uh, he's right there. And I got another youngster, uh, Leonardo Prado, which I got this off season uh, from I can't remember where but he's pretty good I mean he's 18 but he looks pretty pretty good for Finnish league he's a Brazilian and you don't I mean there used to be like a lot of uh, second or third year Brazilians in Finnish league um, back in the day but they're not so much anymore so this is like uh, going back to the past with getting the Leonardo Prado in my team and I got Juho Hakola on the right and uh, Petri Pennanen or um, where is he? Mika Aritalo on the left. And obviously in the first game it's gonna be Mika Aritalo since Pennanen is injured. Pennanen is also one who can uh, play this position, you know, number 10 on my pressing tactics. And to be honest, I'm still a bit on the fence with this tactic, but it's usually my teams look more like this. I really like the defensive midfielder, halfback, anchorman stuff, and I've been using that for years. And after watching some other stuff from other people and reading some of the blogs, and obviously being a fan of Jurgen Jurgen Klopp football, I decided I will try to implement the number ten position in my tactics, and this has been somewhat useful. And but I'm still like on the fence and I'm probably gonna start the season with this or you know with this absolute madness I mean high high offensive but not so maybe not not so great on defense we'll see but uh, yeah I got Mika Aritel on the left and spend on his look and obviously I got the ball and salami uh, at striker and he's playing deep lying forward because I want him to actually create some movement up I, I could use him as false nine but he just suits that deep lying forward position a lot better and I will not go into that tactics that much because you know it's probably gonna uh, change a lot during the course of the you know the season when it starts and we, we get to see how our stuff works so when the time comes when I'm perfectly comfortable and I, I can say that this tag is actually valid and it's working we're gonna go, go and look into stuff what I do uh, a bit closer so that's the team uh, that's something about the league I've told you about uh, you know my goals and principles what I'm gonna do so after this episode, we're gonna go straight into action. We're gonna go and play against S Asiko. I'm sorry, I have really trouble uh, speaking English and pronouncing the Finnish stuff in the Finnish way because it sounds stupid if I just try to pronounce them in English. So that's something I really need to work on that, and hopefully we get that you know done so you guys can learn some Finnish stuff on the side. So, and another thing is, I mean, I haven't used webcam really much in my videos, but I really feel that is something that this needs, so don't be distracted. I mean, sometimes you can see Fred, my dog, in the background because he likes to sleep in my bed, and 
<coughs> sometimes Fred also always uh, sometimes takes part in my videos because he's he's watched out so he he will start barking and that's something I'm really not comfortable editing off because it could be that I've done a lot of work on a video and he starts bark and you know I just want to keep it real since I'm a <clears throat> family person recording at my home stuff happens so you just have to deal with that that's something I did in my earlier videos on my other channel so that's good but hey that's the introduction uh, hopefully you guys get all the intel you need and hopefully this is something that gets you interested in my series of Finnish Legends so I'll see you next time